Warm-blooded and cold-blooded. Two terms that we've all heard before, but are they correct? They used to be, just like Pluto used to be a planet. Just like scientists have discredited Pluto, they have discarded the two terms warm-blooded and cold-blooded. Scientists replace these two terms with endothermic and ectothermic. All this has to do with thermoregulation. Thermoregulation is a process by which animals maintain an internal temperature within a tolerable range. Thermoregulation is critical to survival because most biochemical and physiological processes are very sensitive to changes in body temperature. Each animal species has an optimal temperature range. For example, the average temperature of a human is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Thermoregulation helps keep body temperature within that optimal range, enabling cells to function effectively even as the external temperature fluctuates. Think about when you're sick. When you are ill, you most likely have a temperature above that optimal range. Now let's move back to our two new terms, endothermic and ectothermic. An endothermic animal is one where the body heat of the animal comes from its own metabolism. An example of an endothermic animal is a human. I'm sure you've heard of them. Most mammals, birds, and insects are also endothermic. However, an ectothermic animal is one where the body heat of the animal comes from its environment. An example of an ectothermic animal is a lizard. Most avian reptiles, amphibians, fish, and invertebrates are also ectothermic. But wait, despite how it may sound, endothermic and ectothermic are not mutually exclusive. Take Johnny for example, a human which makes him mainly endothermic. He's sitting under an apple tree, no pun intended, and he's starting to feel a little chilly. What does he do to warm himself up? Well, he moves so he's sitting in the sunlight, thus taking warmth from his environment. But Johnny's endothermic. I thought only ectothermic animals can get heat from its environment. But now you can see where an animal, animal can be both endothermic and ectothermic. But hold on there. These aren't the only terms related to body temperature. Two new, hopefully you don't get these in a spelling bee words, are pochiliotherm and homeotherm. A pochiliotherm is an animal whose body temperature varies with its environment. Whereas a homeotherm has a relatively constant body temperature. An example of a pochiliotherm is a largemouth bass. because it conforms to its environment's temperature. This means that as the temperature of the water changes, the largemouth bass's temperature changes. An example of a homeotherm is a river otter, because even as the temperature of the river otter's environment changes, the body temperature of the river otter stays constant. Despite what many people believe, an endothermic animal isn't necessarily a homeotherm, and an ectothermic animal isn't necessarily a pochiliotherm. There is no fixed relationship between the source of heat and the stability of body temperature. For example, marine animals that live in waters with stable temperature are ectothermic homeotherms. There are also a few endotherms that have body temperatures that vary, such as a hummingbird which can periodically enter an inactive state in which they maintain a lower body temperature. It's easy to see why many people consider endotherms warm-blooded and ectotherms cold-blooded. But you now know that ectotherms don't necessarily have lower body temperatures than endotherms. In fact, when sitting in the sun, many ectotherms can have higher body temperatures than most endotherms. This is why scientists have ceased using the terms warm-blooded and cold-blooded. This is Megan, Brittany, Kiefer, Signing off.
Warm blooded? Why aren't you going? <laughs> therms, warm blooded. And ectotherms, cold blooded. <laughs> warm blooded. Gamer, what are you doing? <laughs> the pink. Warm blooded. <laughs> well, we're gonna stop now. Warm blooded. And ectotherms, cold blooded. <laughs> I was expecting you to mess up. <laughs> blooded. And ectotherms, cold blooded. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs>